We're here on the shores of the Rangitata Harpur. Uh, this is part of a collaborative project between Environment Canterbury, Department of Conservation, Fish and Game, and partnering with Iwi to survey these fish communities and to find out what species are living here and what sort of numbers are living in here. Uh, we're interested in a variety of species, including native species and sports fish communities. Uh, they were last surveyed many years ago, um, up to 40 years ago, and we know very little bit about the fish communities that actually live here. So what we're looking to do here is count the species of fish, what numbers there are, and also measure them. Uh, once we have that data, we'll enter into a, the New Zealand Freshwater Fishes database and also compare it to data that was gathered back in the 1980s. Um, what we're interested in here is to see what sort of change we've had in the fish communities over the last 40 or so years. Yeah, so both North Canterbury and Central South Island Fish and Game saw an opportunity to work with uh, Environment Canterbury to monitor uh, the harpoas. They're a really important environment for, uh, for sports fish. Um, so we've obviously got an interest in, um, in these being healthy um, for our sports fishery. Uh, today the main focus is uh, sampling the fish in the, in the lagoon um, and looking at smelt pop populations in particular and um, the one that they're really keen on is uh, stockle smelt to uh, see whether they're present in any numbers in uh, any of the lagoons that we do. So we've done the Ashburton uh, Rivermouth uh, earlier this week, uh, Rangitata today and the Rakaira will be done uh, later on and so it'll be real interesting to see how that compares to historical um, information that we have for these areas. So Department of Conservation has had concerns for some time about what's happening in the lower Rakitata River. Probably the best information we've had around fish communities in the Rakitata has come from Marty Bonnet's work in 1986 and uh, last year we commissioned a follow-up from that, a redo, and that was undertaken by Niwa and showed that there, there was a strong indication there were changes in the fish community. and. In particular, reductions in eel numbers, bullying numbers, and an absence of smelt. So we're really keen to investigate that today and uh, try and get to grips with what's going on with the fish here. So we're, part, we're here as part of a multi-agency um, project to restore the Rakitata River, and uh, that includes all of the statutory agencies and uh, Te Runaka o Arafenua. So um, yeah, we're really keen to be part of this and and find out what's going on.